Hey guys, I'm in sunny Adelaide, North, and it's cold. Well, it's not that cold. So, um, something came up for me this morning, and lately there's been a lot of people telling me that they are being judged and criticized, usually from family and they are scared to share content they're scared to put themselves out there because of what someone in their family might say okay and hey jacinta hey key hey kerry hey ains hey karen how's everyone going hey nikki hey d or die or i don't know how to say your name matt told me it's die but i've been calling you d in my head <laughs> hey Nicola, hey David, how is everyone? Hey Jodine. Okay, so a lot of people have been telling me that they're not putting content out there, they're not expressing themselves, they're censoring themselves, they're holding themselves back from sharing their message and their gift with the world because they're worried about what people will say. Now, recently, um, I separated from my my ex and I had um, you know different things going on and my my family or literally my dad actually has isn't talking to me and ha is judging and criticizing me for what has happened and I'm in Adelaide Key it is cold it's not too cold actually to be honest um, so I'm being judged and criticized and ostracized by my dad and this morning I woke up and I found out more to the story and it what first jumped in my head was anger I literally wanted to punch the wall I uh, didn't know Richie yeah. <laughs> and uh, I was really angry this only lasted a few minutes though and what was running through my head was he has never accepted me he I've always been the odd one out I've always been different um, why does someone have to judge and criticize me, especially your own daughter? Hey, Zaina, why does someone have to judge and criticize me for my life? It's my life. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Now, I stayed in this for a short period of time. And then after that, I uh, we went for a walk and we got some breakfast and I reframed the situation really quickly. And this is why it's good to have someone around you who you can bounce off. Um, and like we really bounce off each other, off each other's energy. Um, when we were going for a walk, I was able to reframe the situation into, okay, this, I'm not going to stay stuck in that because me staying stuck in that is me staying stuck in the past. And when I'm stuck in the past, I'm feeling like my little girl isn't being heard. I'm feeling like my little girl is sad and is wanting a relationship with my dad that I will never get. And I'm an adult now. I'm not that little girl. I'm not that girl that's hurt or craving my dad's attention or affection or acceptance even. Yeah, it still pops up from time to time, obviously, but I don't have that wound anymore that I need my dad to be a certain way. I know who he is. I know how he is. And I know that that's his own shit. It's not me. And so I don't need this thing inside of me healed anymore. I can let go of that like that. And I reframed the situation and I realized that so many people, like I said before, are holding themselves back from sharing these things. They're censoring themselves. They're sharing a vague idea of things, but not going deep. You need to get specific. Yeah, exactly. Mm. And they're holding themselves back from sharing their amazing skills, message, talents, and gift with the world. And the thing is, when you are doing this, when you're stuck in the past, when you're stuck in the wound, when you're stuck in the emotion, exactly, you um, are just feeding into that little girl or that little boy, you're staying stuck and you're holding yourself back. Instead of that, it's like heal the wound so that you can share this amazing gift and power and message with the world. You have so much inside of you that once you're not stuck in that emotion anymore, you're able to actually transform your life first and then transform other people's lives with this amazing message. 
Um, like there's so many people out there that need your help. If you work on being worthy and feeling good within yourself, you can help others to do that. If you're working on um, letting go of anger, you can help others to do that. If you've worked on relationships with an ex or with family or with uh, your current relationship, then you can help others in that area. If you have transformed your health, transformed your life, you can help people in that area. People need to fucking hear your story. You need to stop holding yourself back. You need to stop worrying about what other people are thinking, what they will say or may not say. Who gives a fuck if they're whispering behind your back? It shows that they're, they're obviously not happy with their lives to be in that place. You must be doing something right if people are talking about you, you know? Totally. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Do you want to share... Actually, I'm just going to read this comment here yeah, and then... Go. Yeah. So, Key said... Mm -hmm. Hey, Savine and hey, Kyle. Um, Key said people would judge you no matter what. Yes, thank you. We were talking about this before. Yeah. What you choose to do. It's a natural human trait to be... Compa comparative for self-esteem totally do you ellie you're kicking ass all the time this is a great message for everyone and yes i'm definitely doing this something i'm working on awesome i am swearing a lot more lately yes i'm fired up yes hey angie how are you going um i have noticed that as well key <laughs> uh so as you know no censorship right i'm say whatever's on top of my mind the other day i was at my mum's doing a live stream and i was about to swear and i was like oh maybe i should say something different in front of my mum." and then i was like fuck it you know and my mum was like cringing at me swearing and i'm like you swear mom like get over it um she's like my biggest supporter she's amazing i love her um exactly what we were talking about this morning people will judge you no matter what you do people will judge you if you're too successful if you're making a heap of money if you're uh how, creating freedom if you're living your life if you've lost weight if you're doing amazing things being an amazing person people will also judge you if you're sitting on your ass and not putting yourself out there and not doing that shit my dad judged me and ostracized me when i was in on drugs when i was um almost going to jail when i was in court he didn't talk to me he kicked me out of home when i was 19 and he also judges me and criticizes me and does the same shit when I've made money and when I'm successful. Yeah, I really think it's like those people that judge you no matter what you do, like you just can't seem to do anything right. Eventually you realize, because there are some people, you know, there are people out there that, that do support you and you realize you can make choices and do things, you know, that are good for you and your life. You start to think, hang on. Maybe those people aren't happy with them. Maybe they're, you know. Maybe it's not really maybe about it's, me. Maybe it's not actually like, <laughs> I'm just doing my thing here. You know, I'm just moving forwards with my life. I'm just trying to be a better person every day. I'm happy to change my life a bit, you know, to, 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 to improve it. So, uh, yeah, some people just get really stuck in their ways. Yeah. Um, yeah, cold rock. <laughs> good, good stuff, isn't it? Good thing it's closed because that would be an interesting lunch. <laughs> Hey kitty, how are you? Yeah, totally. Hey Greg. So totally, it's it's not about you, it's about them. And if you're making it about you, you're staying stuck and you're holding yourself back. Exactly, Nicola. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> yeah. It's your life. Yeah, exactly. Like, no one else tells you how you want to live your life. Like, or how you should live your life. You shouldn't be dictated by someone else's rules of what they think is okay. Because everyone is a fucking hypocrite anyway, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like someone can judge you for leaving a relationship or for eating shit or for um, traveling or for working too hard. They're judging you for those things because they're doing it themselves or they've done it at some stage in their lives and they're triggered by you doing the thing because they haven't sorted it out within themselves. You only get triggered by something else within someone and hold on to it and be like, oh, that chick's a bitch or that guy's a dickhead because it's something that you've got to learn within yourself. And when you learn that lesson, you, you don't care what anyone else is doing because you focus on yourself. Yeah, that's like at the moment, um, you know, it goes up and down at times, but uh, I haven't shared this too much because of exactly what Ellie's talking about, but I'm actually starting to do it now is say with my children, um, the kid's mother uh, isn't letting me, letting them see me as much as uh, they can, as they should and as they used to. And uh, that's been pretty tough. And sharing that's tough, uh, just in general as a father or as a man or even telling anyone about that. But um, 
there are other people going through that shit. And there are other dads, there are other mothers, there are other um, children, you know, all around the world that need to hear that nowadays, I'm not angry at their mother. Even right now, I'm chill. You know, if she doesn't want them to see me, that's not fair on the kids. It's not, it's got nothing to do with what's fair for me. Like, it hurts. You know, I could choose to be helpless and live in that victim mentality and, oh, I'm not gonna go to work today. I'm not gonna jump on a live with Ellie. I'm not gonna go to the gym, but no, fuck that. Fuck everyone else. Like, gotta share that message that, you know, whatever your message is, for me, it's, you know, you gotta put yourself and your health first so you can put your children first. Mm. You know, if, if, if I was still stuck in that blame and judgment you know, of myself because of what I thought other people thought about me. Fuck that. You yeah. Know, you've got to show up because there's people that need to hear your message. You know, you, everyone's a, what is it? Everyone's a, um, an expert in what they've experienced. Mm. And no one knows your story better than you do. So why aren't you out there telling it? Helping other people in the same situation as yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Got totally. To, got to do it. Has anyone else experienced this with ex-partners or know anyone that has? If, comment here. Um... Yeah, cool. Hey, Kat. Hey, Christine. Oh, and just... Nic yeah, Nicholas yeah. said, I never understand why people do that to their kids. Key said, that's really common. Sorry to hear. No, no, no. There will be... There will come a time where they can choose themselves to see you. As much as you think you're on your own, there are so many walking the same path. Oh, look, that, that, that's why I'm doing this. I appreciate all that, guys. So, yeah, but the, the cool thing is, though, I'm not sorry that it's happening. It's, it's, it, I'm, it's tough, but I'm really grateful because I'm learning shit. I'm mm. learning more about me, more about being a father, more about... I'm not angry at her. I, 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 think, I, I love her. I, I care about her. And it must be so hard. She, she's making the choices based on what she thinks is best for her and the children. And I respect her even more for doing that. And because I've dealt with all my shit, or well, most of it, you know, I don't know if you could ever deal with all your shit. <laughs> because I've dealt with most of my shit around all this stuff, I don't have that wound. I don't feel like I need to get angry or get upset or go and drink 20 thousand beers or I'm just like man like, this sucks but I'm still moving forward you know yeah. it's I'm not angry uh, I'm still a bit you know hurt but I'm cool with that and it's it's all good lessons and it's all good it's all more content and it'll all work out 100% like it'll all work the, out the thing that I love that that Richie does and that I don't see a lot of people do this is um, he he can he feels the emotion instead of pushing it down. He doesn't he doesn't go fuck. I'm feeling this. I want to run away. And yesterday he got angry. He he was able to be in that emotion in himself. Didn't get angry by punching a hole in a wall or lashing out or taking that anger out on anyone else. Too expensive. He <laughs> he felt <laughs> me kicking holes in walls when I was a teenager. Um, I got he, angry in a controlled way. <laughs> yeah, he but he felt the emotion. He allowed himself to feel it and express it in his own way without taking that out on anyone else, without doing it in um, uh, an unhealthy way, um, without medicating, without pushing it down. And then literally within a few hours was able, and sometimes that might be a few minutes, you know, was able to reframe the situation and step into what he wanted and have love and gratitude for his ex, for the situation and focus on what was important and then turn that into content as well. That's the only way to move forward. And yeah, that's what you want to do. When you have blame and justification and denial and pushing things down and making it about someone else, it's looking within yourself and going, okay, well, no, this isn't anyone else's fault. This isn't, um, you know, a bad thing. What do I need to learn about myself? How can I re How can I feel the emotion first of all? And then what do I need to do after that to be able to reframe the situation, focus on the positives and move forwards? Mm. And just, just so like, just to clear, clear on like controlling your anger or, you know, feeling that emotion, like motion, emotion, energetic motion, go for a walk. Mm. You know, talk to yourself, yell at your phone, record it, and make sure you delete it and don't send it to someone by accident. <laughs> that's, that's what we did yesterday. I, I was like, man, I'm 10 minutes away from my kids. You know, we come down here for a week to spend every day with them and now we, I get to see them for a few hours. Yeah, it'd be weird or unhuman of me for, for me not to be angry. So mm. you're allowed to be angry, but... Shows you care. Yeah, but... You know, you don't want to, you know, live in that shadow version of yourself where you go down to the pub or have an argument with your friends, you know, or get annoyed or, you know, you know, breaks. That's 
<laughs> that's not, that's not, that's not, you know, being angry, you know, it doesn't help anyone, but you can use that energy to push you forward. Yeah. Uh, rather than get stuck in it and stay like that. And fuel. Yeah, it's more fuel for the fire. It's just more ammo, you know, more, more direction and purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. I love yeah. that. Hey, Dave, how are you? Selena said forward is the only way to go. You've already been there, hence don't go backwards. Totally, totally. Um, does anyone have any questions, comments before I wrap up? Thanks for all the comments, guys, as well. That's awesome. So I want you to think about what is your, what is the thing that was your wound? My, my biggest wound has been self-worth. Um, this is why I help so many people with it because I've healed that within myself. When I was younger, I felt like I needed a man or a boy. Um, when I was a teenager to love me because I wasn't loving myself and that turned into being in abusive relationships being with guys that didn't love themselves so they had to tear me down it turned into sleeping around it turned into me using drugs dealing drugs almost going to jail um, and this was all a wound from not loving myself but also from the relationship or lack of relationship that I had with my dad and that I was so craving and so when I healed that dad stuff and when I healed the stuff within myself, I realized I don't need a man. I, I want someone that I have a strong... <laughs> She's saying you don't need a man. <laughs> I, I want someone to share an amazing connection with who's on the same level as me, um, but I don't need anyone. I don't whether need nobody. <laughs> whether, I don't need nobody. <laughs> whether it's a man, whether it's... Um, a friend, a mentor, whoever, all I need is that connection and love within myself for myself. And then anyone else that comes into my life just adds to that instead of um, being another half of me. This is why I hate when people say my other half. Fuck that. I'm a whole person. Fuck that. I'm a whole. <laughs> and it's funny what you attract in once you heal it, like versus what you're attracting in when you're pushing it away and not yeah. dealing and healing it. Mm hmm. You know, because you just keep the cycle just keeps on repeating of what you attract in. Yeah, um, totally. And then you wonder why does this keep happening to me? If you're in that situation, why, why, why? Well, deal with it. Feel yeah, it. Why? Feel why? It. Why am I attracting in a guy who hits me or um, doesn't treat me the way I want to be treated and doesn't love himself? Oh, because I'm not loving myself. No. You know. So, at, same with clients, same with friendships, same with family members. Like, family members, you don't attract them in, but you can set boundaries with them. You can not fucking talk to them. Um, so, going back to that, once I healed that stuff within myself, I was able to love myself for who I am. I was able to um, attract in the right relationships in my life. I was able to stop worrying so much about my family stuff. And I was then able to not only transform my life and be a healthy, better version of myself, but transform other people's lives as well. So I'm just gonna read these comments here. And hey, Katie, how are you going? Key said, just amazing energy from you both. I gotta say, you've always kicked ass, Ellie, but this energy is new and I love seeing it. Thank you, thanks, appreciate it. Um, we bounce off each other too. Um, my w Selena said my wound was that I wasn't enough. So now that I have learned to accept and love myself, I am enough to live my life on my own terms. Yes, love that. Awesome. So I want you guys to think about that as some of you already are. What was your wound? What was the thing that was holding you back? And how is that? how do you need to... Um, fix that or well, not fix it but how do you need to heal that um so that you can then not only transform your life but transform other people's lives as well if you've if you've already transformed that then um awesome well done what are you not expressing how are you currently holding yourself back because you're worried about what other people may say or think and how can you really fully step into your power around this and share from your heart and just and let go of anything up here and fully express what you want to say without any censoring. Mm. You want to add anything to finish off? Yeah, something really clicked. Because, and it clicks a little bit more every time some shit happens and I don't get angry and um, I realize it's all happening for, for a purpose. And I thought about, because I actually, normally I don't let, like I wouldn't let Ellie see me, you know, get that upset. But it, I was really upset last night because I miss my kids, you know, and they, they miss me. And I let her see that and she goes, shit, people need to hear this. And I was like, I know, I know, people need to hear this. It's just like whatever anyone, any of you guys are going through or have been through, people need to hear that. And every time you express yourself and share a little bit more, you get a bit, a bit more of yourself back. 
and you're giving that giving that to others. You mm. know, they get, I don't do smells. Don't do smells. You, know, you always look. <laughs> anyway, yeah. yeah, yeah. The if you're not sharing your message, if you're holding that back, you're being selfish and you're doing a disservice to the people who need your help right now. If you, you know, if you're still struggling, like, what do I need to heal? How do I heal it? Think about who and why you need to do that for, other than just yourself, because having that bigger, higher purpose, serving and, you know, helping other people heal that stuff, if that helps you heal your stuff, that's, that's a double win. You yeah, know? yeah. I just want to add to that as well, your family and your uh, people who are judging and criticizing you and your haters are not your ideal clients. No. You are not sharing this message for them. So stop worrying about what they think and think about the people who you do want to help because that's why you show up every day. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to head off now, guys. I need to, <laughs> I need to um, eat something before my next calls. Um, but thanks for jumping on. If anyone has any comments, questions, um, pop them here. Or feel free to shoot me a personal message at any time. Hey, Jeremiah, how are you going? Um, so if you've jumped on towards the end, go back and watch the start. If you're not already in my free group, it's Seven Figure Mindset for Entrepreneurs. Come and join me there. Um, good to see you all today. Hope you have an amazing day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.